Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today is the beginning of the Angels and Demons Brawl Stars season. So Brawl Stars has decided that I am a demon for today and I'm totally okay with that because I've been on absolute demon time as of late. So like a demon would, I'm going to buy every single ability in Brawl Stars at least on the demon side. Okay, so the first drop is free. So this is my first ever demon drop let's see what we get i'm holding it i think it's supposed to be a big one okay oh all right there we go see so the first ability we got is fury so damaging enemies or taking damage increases my movement speed so speed is one of the most important stats in the game so i can already tell this is just broken now i'm seeing i can buy these drops for some gems so let me just do a little bit of quick math So unlocking this entire demonic drop road is going to be 2006 gems, which is somehow just short of what I have on my account right now. But for me, that's a little bit over $140. So make sure to like the video when watching and make sure to use code Bobby in the shop if you buy some too. Oh, this is a long one. Oh my God, 200 coins. I thought it was supposed to be a good drop. Oh my God, this one's been so long, please. Dude, what is with these 200 coins? So we now have the Revengeance Demon ability, which is when defeated, deal massive damage to enemies around me. That one honestly doesn't sound so good because when I'm dead, it's going to be used. So like, do I really want something when I'm dead? Guys, these drops are kind of bad. Bang! Okay, so we got Demon Fire. So I have heard Demon Fire is by far the best ability. Leave behind a trail of fire that damages enemies. So I think I heard something like if you can get on safe with this, you can absolutely destroy it in heist. I think we have to try that a little bit later. Wow, 200 power points. That's great on top of my 100,000. Oh, this one's going to be nuts. That's the longest one yet. Oh, we got 200 credits. Okay, that's the best drop I've gotten yet, actually. And now we have unlocked... Siphon, which is when you damage enemies. It creates energy that heals me and demon teammates. Okay, that one actually seems pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Oh my god, that's going to be our best one yet. Oh my god, it's literally a spray. Yay, 100 credits. Nope. Oh my god, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Oh my god, I got a skin. Oh. Yo, that's awesome. Oh my god. Okay, Conjuring Chaos. So this one summons imps. When you defeat an enemy, you summon more per demon teammate. Okay, that one actually sounds really good. And finally, for our final ability, we got Gluttony. I think I said that right. Where you spawn a power cube when you defeat an enemy. Okay, that actually sounds broken. So I've already unlocked every single demon ability that there is to unlock. But, like I said, I'm going to be a pay-to-win demon, and there's still a bunch more drops that I can open, so why not? Oh my god, I also got Demon Otis. No shot. That's so cool. And Demon M's. Oh my god, I think I'm getting everything today. Guys, apparently I can't even do mass because I don't even have the gems to be able to afford the last demonic drop. All good, though. I'll just buy 2,000 more using code Bobby. I only bought that, by the way, because I'm on demon time, guys. Oh my god, this is the longest it's ever taken. Oh my god. Yes, another skin. Yo, Demon Willow looks sick. Honestly, all the demon skins are absolutely insane. Oh my god, this one's also taking forever. This is going to be cracked. Yo, that's Loki better than a skin. I'm so close to Meteor 3. I needed that so bad. Oh, and finally, last but not least, the goat demon Mortis. Oh my God, he looks insane. Yo, that is a lot of pins. Oh my God. Guys, honestly, I just spent $140 on 2,000 gems when I could have just spent $140 on 2.4 thousand gems. I can't believe I just did that. All right, step one is finding some friends to play with. All right, well, I have finally acquired two other demons in my lobby. So the first thing I want to do is what I heard is the craziest thing in the game, which is playing monkey on Spirit Wars. So I heard if you're playing Miko with the record smash star power, you basically one shot the safe. And you can only do that using demon fire. 
Okay, so we got three demons up against three other demons, which is pretty intense to be honest. And let's see what happens. So I don't even know what this does. I guess I got a bolt. Okay, so it's a bolt like old siege. So everywhere I go, there's obviously a big puddle of fire following me. And these guys also have a Miko. What is this spike doing? I'm really confused by what this spike is doing. But I don't know how this works. So spirits summoned, I guess. Okay, we got a couple spirits going. I think it's my job to get a super here. That monkey's jumping on our safe. Oh my god, I can't even see it. Guys, why is our safe so low? What happened? What just happened to our safe? So that monkey just jumped on it and did 100%. Okay, so I guess I don't even need to go and get the bolts. I should just try and get super and then jump on the Ike. Okay, I'm still gonna get this bolt because I'm greedy. But I'm gonna jump on this crow. One, two, three. So there's already three hits. I'm pretty close to my super already. This spike is just W keying our safe. I don't really understand what's going on with that, but it looks like that is his strategy and everyone else's strategy on Spike, so I'm a little bit confused. Okay, so we got a two versus two going on right now. I feel like I don't really know the meta yet. I probably should have watched a Spen LC video or something, but I didn't. Okay, now I have my super. Why is this Spike just spinning on us? I'm so confused. What is happening? What is actually happening right now? Okay, so we finally have our super. We're finally in place. I think I'm gonna heal up and then I'm gonna jump in. Oh wait, I heal in the air. So I'm just gonna jump in now. I'm gonna go to the safe, and apparently I leave fire on the safe. Oh my god, I'm already leaving fire on the safe. One, two... Does that take out the whole safe? Nah, nah, what is that? That is so dumb, I can't believe it takes out the entire safe. Okay, so it looks like everyone is basically just running Miko and Spike. So, I guess the game plan is to get that first power up. But I gotta get my super, I think that's what's actually important here is just me making sure that i get my super so i'm gonna get two hits over there which is a pretty good start for us this spike just doesn't look like he can die so i'm gonna jump on him a bunch of times that's two hits right there if i get one more hit i already get my super so that's that's perfect okay but their miko is also using super so does that just mean we lose okay honestly i don't know where their miko went i think he got lost or maybe he died am i blind i don't really know what just happened Okay, I, oh no! I just wasted my super! Oh my god, me and that Miko are actually throwing. Okay, so since we're both throwing, I just gotta work on getting my super. Okay, I'm gonna get two shots for one there. I know their Miko is also close, so... Is Siege really just a game of what Miko can get super first? Because that's kind of, that's kind of insane. So their Miko's gonna go in. He's not dead yet. There we go, we're able to get the kill, and now I have my hypercharge and my super, so I'm gonna make it into the air. And am I really about to do 100% to this Ike again? Like, is that actually how this works? So I drop down one, two, three. Is that really how this works? Oh my god, it actually is. Okay, so apparently, as a demon, you can just do 100% to the Ike as a Miko whenever you want. That is broken. Okay, so the guys in my room are telling me that if I use the healing star power on Spike, which is fertilize, that I am never going to die as long as I'm standing in my fire. So let's try it. I actually think it's really fun instead of watching videos sometimes to learn about what's going on to just experience it yourself along with other players. That's kind of exactly what I'm doing here. So this Spike on their team doesn't look like he can die. I saw Spikes actually walk into the Ike area and stay alive. So I think that's what I'm going to try and do here. Okay, I'm perfectly alive. I'm still full H- Okay, this is a problem. I see the problem here. I'm literally full HP walking into the- Oh my god, what is this? What is going on with our safe though? Oh, there was a monkey on our safe, huh? I don't even know if I had to throw that super down, but I did anyways. Our safe is at 5%, so we do have to finish it now or we just lose. But Spike actually looks like he just can't die. So this is kind of insane. Okay, we gotta make sure that monkey doesn't get- his jump or we just lose the game. He might just lose the game anyways. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it and he did not get it. Oh my God, Spike, please no. Okay, we actually can win this game. We have to hold them back somehow. I don't know how. We have to hold them back. Spike or monkey, please. Monkey, please no. Oh my God, we're able to get the kill. Can we win this game? I think we can actually win this game. So Spike, by the way, Spike is broken. I really can no, 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 no. Oh my god, we can win? Can we win? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Can we win? Can we win? Oh my god, we're winning. We're winning. Oh my god. Oh my god, what just happened? What is this mode? Guys, look at me on safe. I absolutely just shred the entire safe with Spike and I can't die. I went 6-0 and 0 
with 75,000 healing as Spike. What is this? Okay, so I kind of want to try a different mode with Spike because Spike just seems broken with this. So we're on this weird hot zone map now. I have no clue how it works, but there's a lot of speed all over the place. So can this guy really just not kill me? Like, what's the mass here? Like, no matter what this Byron does, he just can't kill me. That just can't be the mass. Supercell didn't do this properly, I think. So I'm going to hit my super there, but it like doesn't matter. Hit me. Yeah, now what? Like, what can they even do? Okay, now Lily has super and... Okay, let's see what ha- Oh, okay. So Lily can just- Lily can just clap me. So I guess if it's a brawler that can do a lot of damage really fast, like Lily, then I can die. But if it's something that does damage over time, there's just nothing that they can do. Like, what is this Frank gonna do to me? Absolutely nothing. Okay, maybe this Lily kills me again? What's the math here? I'm gonna get supered. Yeah, okay, so we found out what counters Spike. You just need very high damage brawlers. Probably something like a dynamite as well. A Frank super would work, but not the basic attack. That is not going to do anything. So I got to find this Lily. Lily has been spotted. I got to do enough damage before she gets her super. She gets super, but I'm able to pop her. And there's just no way this Frank's doing anything. Like I'm walking in a straight line. Frank, you are not hurting me, bro. I'm putting this down right over here. So Spike is like the greatest brawler of all time. If you have Demon Fire equipped, Spike is literally the GOAT. Okay, so now I'm going to try out Conjuring Chaos because I heard it's really good on Siege. And I'm playing Dinah because I want to play Dinah. I don't know. So I'm just going to try and get as many kills as I can to spawn those imps or whatever they're called. And because I have two other demonic teammates, they're going to spawn three instead of one, which does seem pretty bo broken. It's like every time I get a Tara kill, or I mean a kill, I basically spawn like Tara pets. And that's just kind of broken. Bro. Oh, that's his angel ability. That's pretty broken. Honestly, I'm so confused by almost everything in this game right now. So I'm going to go for a stun. I'm going to miss it. This guy's really trying to kill me. Are you serious, monkey? Okay, at least he died. Now, I think I'm kind of getting scammed here by the fact that these guys have a Jesse and a Kenji and a monkey. So my pets are basically useless because all these guys do pierce damage. Now, I am able to kill the monkey, though, before he ends our safe, I think. Oh, wow. Seriously? So is that just like the most broken thing in the world? I honestly wouldn't even play this mode if I didn't have a Spike, a Miko, or both with Demon Fire. But for the sake of the video, we're going to keep going. Hopefully this game should go a little bit better. I mean, they do not have a Miko or a Spike. And obviously my pets are going to do a lot of work against Daryl. So let's see how this one goes. I'm able to get a quick kill over there. And Kenji does seem occupied with my pets. So he can't kill me. And then he gets killed, but somehow I don't spawn any pets. I don't really know why. Maybe because I died? It looks like they only have spirits this time, so I'm just going to focus the spirits, make sure they do no damage, because why wouldn't I do that? Stunning the Dinah, because obviously I feel like stunning Dinahs. And now we have three spirits on the map, so it's looking kind of good for us. If I hit that, I think I would have six, which would be kind of insane, but I didn't because I suck. And honestly, our spirits are doing really good work. I'm just going to hypercharge that Daryl and the Ike at the same time. And I'm going to get my super back. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. And honestly, this is a lot of fun, but a lot of chaos. I don't really know exactly what's going on. That Kenji's going to go down. I'm going to spawn three more pets. And those are going to help us out a lot. The Daryl really can't do anything to the pets, which is kind of hilarious. If we're facing a Miko and a Spike, I mean, we would have lost this in five seconds but we're not so we can actually play the game we have 12 pets coming so i feel like these guys are just screwed tons of damage being done to the ike i'm gonna super and this game is basically wraps so overall i think conjuring chaos can be pretty good on siege but obviously it's no match for any broken demon fire brawler so there's two more demon abilities that i think is really good the first one is fury so i'm gonna try that out on a normal mode right now we're basically damaging enemies or taking damage increases your movement speed. And again, movement speed is very important in Brawl Stars. So this one might actually be broken. I'm going to try it out on Gale because I feel like a fast Gale with hypercharge is just literally unstoppable. So I'm going to move forward, I guess, and just try and get some super. Obviously, the speed buff is really nice. Oh, you do get really fast. Yeah, wow. Okay, so I'm like extremely fast that we are facing up against the spike. And as we know, spike is just incredibly broken so i don't know if we're going to be able to beat the spike but let's see what the speed can do okay so you do actually move crazy fast now there are also speed buffs on this map but just in general you do move crazy fast so this is really insane now if we can somehow take down the spike we might be golden but i don't really know what to do here i'm gonna hit the stun over there on that surge and get the kill which should allow me to move really fast i can move really fast but i have to take out that spike with like one big shot you know i can't just 
This could be it. Oh, nope. Okay, still not. So I think I need to use my hypercharge in order to take down that spike. But it shouldn't be too hard to get with the speed buff. Okay, so our teammates are going to go down. And unfortunately, we're going to lose this bottom zone. But I am about to get my hypercharge. And I do have my speed buff. So let's see if you can make a play even against a spike, which does seem to be like the most broken thing in the world right now. Okay, so I got my hypercharge. I got to juke one more shot. Oh my god, I didn't juke it. Guys, I'm selling. Okay, I have my hypercharge. I'm going to go in. Let's see what we can do. Oh my god, that was insane. That was insane. Why does Spike have full HP? Okay, guys, nothing is going to beat Demon Fire. Okay, so I'm going to try it this time, but on Dragon, because I just have this weird feeling that if the Dragon has it, he would be broken. So let's see what happens. So we got that nice little speed buff, so that BB is not going to be able to run away from us. He does also have Demon Fire, though, so... We literally can't kill him. We finally do take him out, but it took two of us and he totally, well, I guess she totally got all that zone time. So I don't know what we can really do. Let's see if I can take a spike. I'm going to go for a kill. He's going to try and do. Bro, did I really just do zero damage to that spike? I can't believe my eyes. I Okay, wait, I have to see this again. I'm going to go into dragon form. I'm running in a straight line. Guys, I literally do zero damage to the spike. What am I watching? What is this game? What is this game? Bruh. Okay, I don't think Fury is very good. Like, speed is amazing, don't get me wrong. But against Demon Fire, there is just zero that you can do. Lastly, I'm going to try Gluttony, which is spawning a power cube when I defeat an enemy. And I think that could be good because, like I said, what counters Demon Fire is a lot of damage at one time. So we're going to play a very high damage brawler and see what we can do with a lot of power-ups. I'm going to try Tara because if I get that pull, if I can just cycle pulls with my high level, I mean, surely that's enough to take out Dragonfire. I mean, Demon Fire. Sorry, I'm a Game of Thrones fan. Okay, so my initial goal is to just get as many hits as possible. So I guess laning this spike would be a really good start because the spike is not going to die. Oh my God, look at that spike 1v1. What is happening? What is going on up there? Oh my God, BB, I'm sorry. I have to see what's going on up there. Okay, the spike went down. I can't believe what I just saw. Is that really our game right now? So I'm gonna Tara super the spike. Let's see if I can get that, bro. Nah, there's actually nothing you can do to demon fire. What is this? Okay, so I'm gonna go to the lower zone and help out my BB a little bit because obviously my BB does need some help. I can't believe this game right now. What has this come to? Oh, right. I forgot every defeated enemy drops a power cube. So there we go. I got my power cube. I am stronger. I have my hypercharge now and my power cube. So I'm going to be able to get a couple of kills up here. Like, what is even happening? I actually don't even know what's happening. Oh, I also dropped a power cube. I didn't know that. Guys, look at that spikes. Look at those spikes. I can't believe what this game has turned into. We're currently winning the game, though, somehow. I guess because we also have a spike. I have my super now, so let's see if I can do something about the spike. Maybe me and the BB can 2v1 him. No, this is actually insane. This is actually insane. I can't... I, I, I really can't believe this. I'm, like, speechless right now. Okay, all we have to do is win the top zones. I'm going to try and do that. Please, 2v1. Please. No, this is actually nuts. This is actually nuts. I don't even know what to say. That's insanity. Okay, I have my hypercharge. I'm going to click the button so I move faster. I got my pull, so I'm just going to pull the Dyna. Oh, I was kind of a waste of a pull, I'm not going to lie. Dyna down. We got to get this Nita out the zone, though. Nita, please. Nita, please. Oh, my God. Okay, and that is going to be game. Honestly, I think Siphon would be pretty good, but I don't think what we need right now is heals. I think what we need is damage, so Siphon would not help at all with that. And then same with Revengeance. I just don't see how anything good can happen after you die, so I'm not even going to try these ones for today. My takeaway is if you have Demon Fire, hop on your Spike, hop on your Miko, and push as many trophies as you can over the next few days, because this is one of the most broken things I have ever seen in Brawl Stars. But that is going to be it for my day as a demon. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And I will be back hopefully tomorrow if the game lets me be an angel with an angel video. So until I get an angel, I will see you guys then. Peace.